Introducing Sequence Builder. Rearrange your animation however you want and Cartwheel will do the stitching for you. I love animating, but sometimes I just want to sit at my laptop and try stuff out. I don't want to have to open up Unreal and Maya and, and start working on my big workstation. I don't want to go to a cafe, I want to sit outside. So we built Sequence Builder. Sequence Builder lets you rearrange your actions in Cartwheel and Cartwheel will automatically stitch them together for you. Okay, let's walk through it. So here you are in Cartwheel. We just opened up a brand new scene and let's grab a motion. Let's start with this kick right here. Add this to your shot. You're going to see now we have down at the bottom of the screen there, it says right karate kick. This is the action that we just added and you can see the timeline playing. Let's add another motion. Let's do like a jump. This one looks pretty good right there. Now you're starting to see the real power of Sequence Builder. You see this is the first action, right karate kick, and this is the second action, vertical jump. What's happened is Cartwheel has stitched together those two actions. Once they are there, you can trim one. Maybe I don't want to have quite as much tail on the end of this action. You can just trim it. There we go. So now the kick is a little bit shorter and it goes right into the jump. Jump is like pretty cool. It's pretty long. Let's trim the jump too. I don't really want that much tail on the end of the jump. Shorten this a little bit, got the kick, boom, and then goes right into the jump. But uh, let's say I wanna just change the order of this. I'm gonna just take the, the jump and put it at the beginning instead. So now he's gonna jump first and then kick. Let's see how that works. Jump and then goes into the kick. Cool, works pretty well. I'm gonna switch it back just like that. Now we've got the, the kick and goes into the jump. It's feeling like it's working pretty well. Let's add another one, but I'm gonna do some, some video to animation instead. I'm gonna add that to this. So I'm gonna go to video animation. I'm gonna select a file. I've got one here that I've got ready. Of uh, somebody doing some boxing, I'm gonna try that. Looks pretty good. Don't need all of this. So I'm gonna just grab like a little bit of that and add motion. Cool, so now it's generating my animation from the video. Here's the animation that we generated at the end of this playlist. Now you can see the boxing is there. So we've still got the karate kick, does the jump, and then we go into boxing. Sweet. What if we want the boxing to be at the front or like in the middle? Let's just move the boxing and just see what that does. We just drag it over and now we've got boxing. So we've got kick, and then we've got boxing, and then it goes into the vertical jump. Sweet, it's so fun, it's like fast. Let's just put the kick, like, let's do the boxing first and then the kick. So we got boxing, and then it goes into like a kick. Let's put the jump between it, why not? Boxing, jumping, and then it does the kick. Sweet, let's, uh, let's try it out on a different character to see what it looks like on the Unreal Mannequin. Nice, looking good. Let's put it on the UEFN Mannequin. <laughs> nice, it's looking great. Just to show you, this is awesome. Like the guy's feet aren't on frame. Our, our system's able to kind of put the feet. Anyway, how cool is that? <laughs> so awesome. I set up another one here. In this one, I've got alternating hops. And then for the second one, this is actually text animation. Characters starting from an action stand start to run forward. So that's that one right there. And then it goes into a forward roll, which I got from the motion library. And then it does like a little run and jump for a hurdle. I want to take a second to talk about project. At the top of your scene here where you're working, you can name this. You can So I've, I've called this like Sequence Builder UEFN. So I'm going to bring this into UEFN. So you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to call it UEFN Test. What's cool is if you go over here to this little carrot on the left side of the frame, you click on that and you're going to see your projects gallery. Any previous projects that you've worked on are here saved. So you can double click on these and then we'll open up. And now it's going to show you here is some other testing that I did. It's just, this is just a single action this in this project, but I've called it that. Let's go back to my projects again. You can bookmark something. So if you click on this little thing right there, then it'll bookmark it and it shows up here. So all of your projects are here. This one I worked on earlier, Sequence Builder tutorial, three different actions here. Inside your project, this history is unique to this project. These are the different actions that I worked on when I was working on this project. They all live right here in this project. You can go back to the projects window and select the different ones. If you want, you can change this to like a list view. You can also search UEFN. There, that's that test I was looking for right there. So this is really cool. So this is projects. So I'm gonna pick, this is the one we were gonna work on, UEFN test. This is the one they're gonna export. What's really nice is if you, once you name a project like this, when you go to download, if I call this UEFN test, that's what the name of the file is that I'm gonna download. It's a little thing, but we, people have been asking for that. So that'll do that for you. So that's a little demo into what projects are that will help you navigate and organize your workflow. Okay, now I'm showing off just a little bit. Like I just got, here's, I put that animation, I downloaded it, put it into UEFN, put it on some character, character and just did a little simple little action sequence. I want this to be like a different character. 
showing off a little bit. This is just uh, that same animated setup in UEFN. I've got some cameras, a basic composition kind of put together to tell the story of what's happening. Pretty cool. So that's Sequence Builder. It's really neat. It's super fun. It's easy to play with. It's fast. It's, you can do motion library actions. You can do video and you can do text animation. All of these will work and then it will slot in here and you can rearrange it and put it wherever you want and cart will automatically stitch the actions together. It's great. You can just see how it's looking. You can feel out ideas. You can prototype. It lets you spend more time just playing around and exploring. Go, go find your favorite coffee shop with your laptop and just see what kind of stuff you can build. 